temporal used to specify conditions or uh, if you want to trigger the records in cases of some conditions, so we can use that rules for the thing. Now here, uh, this is our AMD table. And suppose from that table, I want to find the employee people whose ID is K. So here the condition is ID equal to we need to write select as well as from EMP and pair from where ID is equal to so first if you check that ID is K or not so for the first record the condition is false so it will not display that ID for the second record again the condition is false for the third record condition is true ID is K so it will display that record then again if you check for the fourth record the record is so when the condition is true, it will display that way. You select all the details from Apple where ID is equal to K. Now, in the second, on here we need to display ID, name, salary from employee where ID is equal to 5 and name should be 1. So here we need to use random to select ID. Then we are going to select name and salary. From TLP table where ID, so ID should be 5 and name is equal to 5. So here, if you check both the conditions, as we have used and operator, if both the conditions are true, then only we get the output. So first, if you check for ID and name, so ID is 1, so first condition is false and name is also not false. So again, this condition is false. Both the conditions are false. Then here, ID and name. So both the conditions are false. So we can check one by one all the records. And when the conditions are true, when both the conditions are true, we can get ID, name, and salary of that particular record. Okay. By this command, so we are getting the records of color. And now, the third question is select start from employee whose ID is 5, 6 of 2. So here we need to write select all the details from employee where and you can write any values of ID or you may use all of them. So if I want to display for record whose ID is 3 or if I want to display for the record whose ID is 6, so we need to write it in all conditions. So here you can check ID is 3 or 6. So both the conditions are false. Second, for the second record, ID is 3 or 6, again the condition is false. Here, ID is 3, but it is not false. But one condition is true. So, in all, if any one of the conditions is true, so all the will be true. So, you get that record. Again, it will check all the records one by one and it will give us output of 3 and 6. Even we can use these conditions uh, to check less than, greater than, other than. So, if I want to display all the records, whose uh, salary is greater than uh, 20,000. So here we need to write select all details from EMP where salary greater than 20,000. So we will get all the records whose salary is greater than 20,000. Even we can use this in for between operator where uh, salary between and we can write Salary between 20,000 and salary between 40,000. So, it is giving us all the salaries which are between 20,000 to 40,000. Plus, it is taking that 20,000 and 40,000 also. Here, if you see for record, 40,000 is there. Now, we can use the same condition, the same between and and operator for ID. Whose ID is 1, means whose ID between 1 and whose ID between 5. So we will get 1 to 5 records. So here we are getting 1 to 5 records. So in this way we can use where clause to trigger the records. We can use where clause to between operator and operator for uh, checking less than greater than conditions. We can use it in and and or operator of equal to. So where clause is not to filter the records on the basis of condition. If the condition is true, we will get all the records. If the condition is false, we will not get that.